anybody. There's anyone at all. Any any thoughts? Again, <clears throat> we are talking about the the cover, the cover of the book. Mm, I like it. You like it? Great, terrific. Anything more specific? Uh, I hate it. Hate it. Jenna hates it. Actually, I didn't really like it. Guy has changed his opinion almost immediately. Yes. I'm a little confused mm -hmm. because you're asking me to react to a book cover. It's just the same words repeated over and over and over again. It's the title of the book, Truth in Advertising. David, question, yes. You don't have to raise your... Where's the bathroom? Um, I think it's down the hall on the left. Oh, I'm going to need that later. Okay, so the title of the book, Truth in Advertising. Anthony, does that sort of... You know, bring up any any um, emotions for you, any uh, reactions? If I'm being honest, mm -hmm. um, boredom, confusion, just feelings. If I'm being honest, Hon honesty, yes, honesty is great. Those are some more negative, more negative emotions yeah. generally. Yeah. Um, Jenna, if you had to, you know, sort of describe. Yeah. I don't like red. Um, it reminds me of my mother-in-law. She was a really horrible person. She liked red, so I just don't. And now she's dead. So. OK. Anything more relevant to there? I agree with Jenna. About her mother-in-law? About everything. Truth in advertising, right? Mm hmm What does that mean? That's a great question. That's, you know, does, do you have any, any reactions, David, to the title? Well, I see truth. But I'm thinking lies. Yes, in a sense. In a sense, the novel is about lying. My ex-husband was a liar. OK. Advertising is about lying, though. It is. And the main character works in advertising. He's a, he's a copywriter in New York City. And he's, we sort of follow Finn Bardolin through these difficult complexities. Now, what's that? Finn Bardolin. What is? Finn Bardolin. Yeah, what is that? Uh, the main character. It's a girl? It's a 40-year-old man. It's a river elf? Not an elf. A name, that's, a, that's quite a name. That's also a girl's name. Great. So he's sort of estranged from his family. So there's complexities there, and he has his dying father. And so he, he deals with that. And then sort of this sort of, you know, disillusionment with the industry and his career. And sort of all these complex themes that are addressed, that are addressed Relatable. throughout the book. Relatable themes. Mm -hmm. yeah, if I yes. can stop you. Absolutely. It feels like a book that lacks a clear focus. I mean, it would be hard to summarize any novel in just a few words, so. Man-eating shark terrorizes a peaceful beach community. Jaws. A troubled teen spends Thanksgiving break wandering streets in New York City. Catcher in the Rye. There you go. That's a good yes. book. That's a this good is also book. a book. That's a good book. So I've got one. Sex. Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh. OK. Ah, 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 <laughs> but oh, the yeah. book that we're talking about, oh, yeah. the book right now that is, <laughs> so this book, though. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, I wonder if they're going to make it. This is good, right? I love that one. Yeah. I think they're really getting it. Back to this book, Truth in Advertising. So I have a question. Yeah. Um, is that how big the book is going to be? This is a poster. Personally, I would never read a book that big. That's a mock-up. It's going to be, I mean, the real one's going to be book-sized. 